This is what I call a minimum time problem. In this example, Anna has to drive from her home, which is here at A, to the daycare, which is down here at D, to pick up her daughter. We have to calculate the minimum time it will take her to get there. In this diagram, which is given with the question, each of these black lines represent a street, and the arrows tell you which direction the street goes, so they're all one-way streets. The little red numbers tell you how many minutes it takes to get from one vertex along that street to the next vertex. Anna has no choice but to start by heading towards vertex N, which will take her 11 minutes. At that point, she's very close to the daycare, but she can't go directly there along this street because it goes in the wrong direction. She again has no choice but to follow this line from N to S, five more minutes. Similarly, she must go from S to G, from G to Q, and from Q to B. At this point, she starts having a choice. She can take one street to go from B to F, which will take nine minutes, or she can take these two smaller streets, which will combine to seven minutes. It's more efficient for her in terms of minimum time to take the two smaller streets. Then she goes from F to R, and from R to the daycare, and she's finished. What you are required to do to show your work when you're answering this question is you must draw a graph very similar to this one, but one that only shows the minimum time.